Hmm. I'm sure I put that page somewhere. Hey, do you remember why I put that page? Oh, never mind. It's right here. No, that's not the page. Well, I can't find it. I'm going to have to Google it. Okay. Well, that's a bother. Good afternoon, everybody. And my name is Metal Mine on the internet. And I am uh, part of this project called Secret Revelation. And we're making a launcher for mods for Minecraft. Now, as an example previously given just here, it's really hard to find a lot of information about Minecraft. Um, you can go to the wiki. You can go and find all, all the information about vanilla, every little aspect of it. But if you want to find the right mods for you, maybe the big name mods like Red Power, like maybe uh, Billcraft, Industrial Craft, Mo Creatures, Pixelmon, Pokemobs, I can list up hundreds. Because why? I Because I am uh, making a list of mods, a mod index. And we're working on this project right now. If you want, you can go and click the link uh, on the screen right here. Right here, yeah, right here, and uh, that is our current mod list that is, uh, um, that we're doing manually over Google Docs. You can't change the indentation. You can't change the how it's formatted. Ma uh, you can't do it. I can, but you can't. You can't change the list, uh, and you can't query. You can control F, but that's kind of hard, and uh, everything is a mess. But it's still much better than going to Micro Forms and looking through 400 pages to find the mod you want, because it's that hard to do it. Now, we're writing this application in uh, C++, if you want to know, and it's going to be open source also. We're integrating with uh, MultiMC by Fork, and we talk, we're talking about it, and soon you'll be able to connect to your social networking, whatever, and all we'll grab is just log in, and we'll notify you by PM. We won't be posting for you, we'll be doing the PM unless you choose to do whatever, and you'll get notifications right away. Um, the application will be attached to MultiMC and as well as your game so that it will be open to next right next to your Minecraft if you want to. If you don't want to, it will just be a pop-up on the bottom right corner your notification area. Um, or if it's Windows 8 you're, gonna, you're, be, you're using, it will be a little box like uh, all your other messages that will happen. Um, it will be right here. Yeah, for Windows 8. So you'll get all your notifications for your latest mods right away. You can choose your favorite mods and have those be always be checked to see if you're updated. If they're updated, the version number or even uh, the, the download. And if those mods are open source, you get automatic uh, downloads and updates to your mods through straight through a MultiMC. It'll be downloaded straight into MultiMC and MultiMC will just, boom, uh, install it. Simple as that. And you won't have to worry about a thing. And other features that you can get are um, IDs. So every mod has a config creation, configuration file with IDs that they use for items and blocks. Now what we're going to do is that every mod, uh, if you click on the mod, uh, if you want just to click download into it, or if it, you can then you can just do that, or you can click on the forum link and find the download if it's not open source and we don't have the permissions. But if we do, uh, but on the same page if you expand it, there will be a link to the ID list. Now you can also go directly to the list of IDs, and that is where all the IDs will be li listed out. Um, so if you you can look through the mod you want, it will be listed on the left side, and this is the left side. No, this is the left side. Well, one of these sides. And what happens is through the t right across the top are the IDs, one through four nine forty ninety six or something like that. And you have all default Minecraft IDs in the beginning, of course. So that will be defaulted to two fifty six and on. And from there on, you can see. Uh, all the mods that use those IDs so that when you do the configs it'll be really easy for you to do so. Um, we're hoping to be able to have a file editor right into the each mods page so that if you want uh, to have for example uh, Portal and Industrial Craft work together. I'm, sh I'm sure they do already but for example if they don't then you just click those two click edit configs and Portals config and, I, and uh, industrial craft configuration will appear right next to each other on your screen and you'll edit the numbers or you can just select auto, uh, you, there's no auto yet but for now you have to edit them yourself. Auto will be a future feature if you can manage to do it because reading files and filtering is really hard. So you basically edit the numbers and when you're done you just click download and those two config files will be will be uh, downloaded to your to the location you want to download on your desktop. Um, 
put it into your multi MC and play. It'd be easy as that. And otherwise, uh, if you don't like the skin or something like that, or you're gonna never mind, forget about the skin. You'll be able to edit it, uh, personalize the loader, the browser for you. If you're a modder or a mapper, you will have the tools at your hands to make this awesome by um, creating a page for your mod. If you're a new modder and you're new on the scene, there will be a list of all the new mods. But before you get your modder status, uh, unless your mod is big like Portal 2 and well known if you're actual modding, which we'll, we will check. Um, otherwise, you'll be listed in the new modders list section. And if your mod is selected as an actual legit legitimate mod, because we need to prevent the mod spam, Two weeks later, if it's approved, you will become a modder on Secret Revelation uh, members. Meaning, you get automatic premium, and you get the ability to select people who can help you with your page. You can select people who will review your page. That way, you'll prevent uh, flame wars and spams and all sort of things going on, so that uh, you can have the publicity you want for your mod, and the ability to monitor your comments, your mods will have a section for error bug reporting, bug reports. So the, all the bug reports will be there, and you can have uh, you can just go through them and, and answer. Very simple. There's uh, there's a three. There are three levels of uh, voting and reviewing. First level is up down recommendation. Second level is star based category voting and reviewing. Third base, third one is written. Written is ov obviously very important. The you will be have to be given uh, granted uh your post will have to be granted approval either by a moderator or the modder himself or mapper. Mappers, you create adventure maps, creative maps, anything challenge maps, put it on there. Show it to people. If you including certain mods, just include those mods and boom, your your um your map will be automatically linked to those. So people who play those mods will see, oh look, there is an adventure map that features this mod. Why not try it out? For example, Feed the Beast. So, um, yes, I am mentioning Feed the Beast and MultiMC a lot because I am working with those people and they are awesome people. Very great people of the community. And so if you're wondering anymore, go to my wiki or go to, the uh, if you look below in Indiegogo, you'll be able to see it. I'll put a link to Indiegogo if you're not on Indiegogo right now. So help the developers right now um, with this fundraiser, and we'll be adding you to the. We can add you to the beta testers uh, list, and you'll be able to test out the, the application before it comes out. Um, you'll be getting automatic premium when the thing comes out, and it's anybody who donates above two dollars will get that perk. So I'll be looking forward to working with you and. Look forward to all the features, and we'll do we'll do this as best as we can to help you out, find your mod, and have your gameplay be the best it can be. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen.